Hello everyone, Mark is here. Welcome to Tesla Simplified. Today we're doing a part two of how good is a Tesla BEV as a taxi. I promised I would test my long range Model Y to see how long I can drive in the city because everyone talks about the range in miles and it works differently if you are inside a dense city picking up and dropping off passengers, stopping at red lights, and so on. So what I found out was that if I charged my long range Model Y to 90% and I left the house, I could drive for 11 to 12 hours in Manhattan and that would bring my state of charge to 5%. So that's that's really good, driving 11 hours and going from 90 to 5. I could come home and charge and do it again the next day without damaging the battery, without having to supercharge and pay supercharging prices. So I would save a lot of money. if and that, But that's in a dense city like New York and Manhattan. I would guess, because I didn't test for this, but if I was in a more spread out city and I would I was driving on highways, I could probably still drive for about seven hours, going from 90 to 5%, picking up passengers, uh, waiting for passengers, things of that nature, uh, because there's still a lot of uh, stop and go. Um, but on the highway, just to be clear, driving on a highway, on a, if, you're, if all you're doing is, if you're mostly driving on a highway, you're only going to be able to drive, especially if you're driving between 70 and 80 miles an hour, you're only going to get about three and a half hours to four hours of driving on a long, on a long range Model Y. If you, if you have a, if you get a Tesla Model Y with 358 miles, which is more than what I got, my car was doing, my car got 330 miles. soon. In a two-person setup where one would drive in the morning and the other would drive at night, then the drivers and the, if the drivers are trying to stay away from paying the supercharger prices, this may be possible if the two drivers only work eight hours each and live in a dense city. In any other scenario, the drivers would have to at least supercharge once a day. So supercharging Every day is probably okay in a taxi situation, as long as you make sure to charge the car at home uh, every day. That should keep the battery healthy for quite now a while. There have been reports of people who only supercharge and never charge at home, having to replace their, their Tesla Model 3 batteries at 150,000 miles. These people were told that if they had charged at home once a, once a day, it would have made a big difference on how long uh, the battery would last. Now for the charging situation inside New York City. And this is probably true of other cities around the country. But New York City is unique in this situation because getting out of the city always costs money and it's, it's a pretty long drive in order to get to, uh, to other superchargers. Now, the charging situation inside New York City isn't great for taxi EV drivers. Tesla chargers are inside pay, paid parking garages, and they aren't cheap. With the exception of the, the one in JFK Airport and the one that will open in South Brooklyn, and there is another one that will open just outside of LaGuardia Airport, all other chargers inside the city are, pay, are in paid parking garages. Uh, obviously, this isn't a problem if you can charge the car at home, because you will likely be driving for 10, 11, 12 hours without having to... Uh, use the superchargers, you should be fine. And you do go to JFK and LaGuardia every so often with passengers so you can um, charge there uh, if you need it. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.